John Norman McLeod is one of Prince Edward Island's most successful self-educated entrepreneurs. It was with great curiosity and ambition that Norman learned, on his own, all of the skills of construction, from concrete to painting and from estimating to project management. At the age of 35, Norman's first major project was indeed a large one, managing 300 workers on the construction of three hangars at CFB Summerside, including Hangar 8, which was at the time the largest building in Prince Edward Island. From there, McLeod went on to partner with Gleason Williams and Joe Murphy to incorporate Williams, Murphy and McLeod with the company's first office in Norman's Charlottetown home. As WM&M grew, so did McLeod's entrepreneurial reach. He formed further partnerships and new opportunities in the construction industry, including Metro Building Supplies in 1969, followed by Prebuilt Steel and Prebuilt Homes in 1973. Throughout the 1960s, 70s, and 80s, Norman was a key visionary in the planning and development of the city of Charlottetown. The creation of the Village of Sherwood, the Charlottetown Area Development Corporation, the Charlottetown Area Planning Board, all of them successful thanks to the inspiring leadership of Norman McLeod. As a passionate builder, Norman was also dedicated to building his community. He was a founding member of the Park Royal United Church, an active member of the Charlottetown Wisemans, and the Charlottetown Rotary Club. In 1994, he received the Greater Charlottetown Area Chamber of Commerce Award for Entrepreneurial Excellence. First thing I think of is Norman as a real gentleman, but uh, in terms of his entrepreneurial uh, accomplishment, Norman is visionary. It's his wonderful foresight. I'd have to think he's ambitious. I mean, for all the things that he's done. He's gentle, he's honorable, and there's, it's just, you have confidence when Norman's on the scenes. And that's what he brought to the, to the construction business that he worked with. He's, he's the most detailed person I've ever dealt with in my life, by far and away, you know, and, 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 and continues to be, because he's able, to, like he's able to assess, uh, you know, the situation where, you know, you're dealing with the number of things that he's got on his plate. You could go around the Charlottetown area and not know that Norman McLeod did a lot of things, but if you really knew the background of it, you would find that Norman McLeod uh, was the leader and had his hand in many, many things. Williams, Murphy, and McLeod uh, built the courthouse that we're sitting in today on the waterfront. Uh, they built a lot of commercial buildings all around Charlottetown. Look at the university campus. I don't know the extent of it all, but I'm sure if you went on a tour and Norman honestly pointed out to you which properties they had tenders for, you'd find that there's something on pretty well every block. Yeah, I don't know how he did it. I mean, with the amount of work that that man was doing and looking after projects, to learn so much to the in-depth detail that he understood things is amazing. A responsible fellow. And, and like the job that he was doing, you're, you're working hard, you're, you're not sleeping every night because you're worrying about so many details. Tremendously intelligent man. I had the pleasure of doing uh, quite a bit of legal work for Norman and uh, I always had the mantra of uh, be, be prepared for the client who reads the Income Tax Act as a hobby. <laughs> I can't say that I've ever met anybody that had any more intelligence. He just seems to have an in-depth knowledge of this industry in particular and a lot of facets of it. Many, many of the staff uh, have been there, not for years, but really for, for decades. So there was a very um, family-like uh, uh, you know, business acumen uh, that you know, uh, people uh, enjoyed working uh, for him. Even today we have, I'm thinking at least 10 that have been here for 35 plus years still. So he seemed to know how to treat people. I think people felt that he treated them fair. I think it's the combination of uh, Norman's intuition from being self-taught, his, his ambition uh, with his entrepreneurial spirit, 
and fortunately combined with his, his vision and his desire to do good, I mean, that sounds like a lot of things, but it's, but it's all so true with Norman. And, and what that wraps into is a, a very community-spirited person who uh, is putting the community and others first. You don't do that kind of work unless you've got something up here working well for you. Today, WMM has grown from the humble residential office to a $15 million a year operation. And tonight, we welcome an extraordinary builder, Norman McLeod, to the Junior Achievement Prince Edward Island Business Hall of Fame.